where there is a bright influence of photons, energetic photons, X-rays and gamma rays. They were discovered in the gamma rays because there were satellites up, the Vela satellites that were up. So we'll can see if there were countries that could carry a nuclear explosion. And when a nuclear bomb goes off, there are gamma rays and nuclear reactions. And so people were looking for it and they discovered that the universe was spinning gamma rays in the other direction. And that's how the gamma rays were discovered. So if you look, this is very impressive. The detectors were not very big, not much bigger than your hand. And yet they were getting 30,000 photons in, in, a, in just a couple of seconds. So gamma ray bursts, it turns out, are the most powerful lights in the universe. They, they give out as much light as a star gives out over its lifetime in a few seconds, and as much light as a supernova gives out in over a month, also in a few seconds. They're roughly all sort of the, the same kind of height. So the first thing is they're flat, they're six times scale in one order of seconds. I'll come back to that. But they also are extremely powerful in terms of what they are. Okay. So we know a lot about them. We've been studying them for 40 years, but we don't know that much. So here's the Smith satellite, which was the third satellite, well, really the, the, you know, the third satellite that the study of And these flashes are gamma ray bursts going off. And these occasional circles you see are the satellite, the Swift satellite being rotated around using its optical, the red belt optical, ultraviolet telescope, to actually see the afterglow. And that's music, it's the fat here is music from the from, from the, you know, entertaining. But, so here's the, this is the whole sky wrapped around us, this is the plane of our galaxy. This is actually like a Kobe or a two mass map. And you see there are many planets going on, and only a small fraction of them are actually seen and observed by the Swift telescope. But you see they observe for quite a long time because the afterglow for a certain class of gamma ray, gamma ray birds, actually lasts a significant amount of time. For another class, 